Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 as Chelsea. We're going to be taking on Watford later on today, but first of all we'll find out if Man United can do it on a cold windy night in Stoke. Well that was bloody quick. No they cannot, 2-2, so we can take the summit of the league if we manage to get the win at Vicarage Road. That is excellent news. <clears throat> Fitness tests, Aki and Fabregas looking shaky, Asensio capable, which is not a word that I like. Uh, Charlie Mazonda will not be in for this game, Fabregas I guess can come on to the bench, and Asensio who's capable will play. Um, Andreas Christensen can actually go out for Victor Lindelhoff today, and pff, what do I do, what do I do, Lewandowski can come back in. We'll do that for Lewandowski. Azpilicueta. Do I want Azpilicueta back in? Um, I'll put him on the bench for Baba Rahman. Let's go for that. So the team will be Courtois, Zuma, Louise, Lindelhoff, Moses, Alonso, Matic, Chaloba, Asensio, Willian and Lewandowski. Uh, no, do you know what? Kante can come back in. So it will be Kante rather than Chaloba. But that will be the team to take on Watford today to try and get the top of the, t uh, top of the league as we look to retain our title. <clears throat> a couple of teams beginning to sneak up on ourselves in Man United now, we have to be careful. This looks like it's not going to be like last season where we somewhat stormed to the title. So here we go, big game for us. If I was a TV company, I'd be promoting this as a London derby, but it's not a derby. No matter no matter how how many teams in London, only a couple of them count as a derby. And Zuma with a lovely header, Gomez can't keep it out. One nothing, and Chelsea move up to first position. Excellent stuff. Oh dear, Duarte with a free kick from distance and bloody hell, right in the top corner. Ruben Duarte with a phenomenal finish. Chelsea dropped down to second position. That didn't last long. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> that was not the best half we've ever seen. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go the three up. I'm going to pull Asensio for Timo Werner. Timo Werner will be the... Well, we'll make him an advance forward. Lewandowski and who's been the worst centre back? Louise has a 6.6. .6. So it's going to be David Louise who's going to come out for Michi. Um, yep, we're going to have. Do we take Moses off or do we leave him on? Hmm. Ach, we'll leave Moses on, why not? He doesn't really like being a proper orthodox right back, but we're going to leave it for now. See what we can do. Canty with a good challenge. Out it goes for a Watford free kick. Hey, yeah, Watford free kick, Watford throw in, pardon me. Vincent Janssen scoring again for Bournemouth 3 up at the Liberty. It's a very similar story for us today. Um, well, they're booking for Batshuayi, that's a similar story as well. A similar story, we're really, really poor by. Um, by the looks of things. We're going to have to go attacking now. We're going to up the tempo much higher. Mix the passing up. But nothing created once again for us. Um, I'm going to put Kante in the deeper role and bring Chaloba on, I guess. We're going to have to overload this. Demand more, but... Uh, <laughs> It doesn't look like we're going to get it again. We've been so impotent this season. Really, I mean, I think it's time to call Lewandowski a flop. A £90 million flop at that. Horrible stuff. Willian towards him. Beaten in there by Britos, Zuma to Moses, and it's probably just going to be the clock winding down now. Moses beats his man, puts it in, away by Britos. Far too easily. 
it's yet another draw for Chelsea. In fact, wait, is this my first draw? No, it can't be. We were even with Man United still, but we've let them off the hook for dropping points up at Stoke. 1-1 one, one it ends. We're going to lay into them for that because it's another piss-poor display. Uh, that is actually our first draw, which doesn't seem correct. Um, have we been drawing games in other competitions, perhaps? We drew in the Champions League against Celtic. No, we actually haven't d had many draws, but we've just been impotent in a lot of games. 1-0 over City. 1-0 uh, over Bournemouth. 1-0 over Palace, yeah. Not good, man. Really not good. We've got a 14-day gap now until we play Newcastle. Let's march on towards that. And Lewandowski. I don't know what to do with him. If anybody has any suggestions, it'd be, it would be welcome. But he doesn't seem capable of playing in this formation. I mean, last season... Last season we had a couple of guys out for a long period of time. For example, Diego Costa was injured for quite a long period. Um, and Batshuayi did pretty well. Uh, hell, we had Ugbo up front for a decent chunk of last season. And we still won the title relatively comfortably. Now we've let Costa go. Who, again, didn't play for a large period of last season. And we've paid 90 million smackers for Lewandowski. Who's come into the side. And... Pfft, a lot of games he's went missing. I know there's a bedding in period, but we're coming up on we're coming up in December now. And it's not good enough at all. I don't know what to do with him. I'm really, really concerned that he's just gonna be a flop. Ah, uh, thinking about team selection against Newcastle. And I'm thinking about going wide with two up. Flat back four, two midfielders, two wide, two up. I'm really unsure though because who do you even play up? Do I play Batshuayi and Werner? Drop Lewandowski back to the bench? I really don't know how to do it. Lewandowski is not cutting it. But part of me wants to just keep with him with a hope that if he gets a good run he'll be untouchable. But is that more than hope than expectation? I don't know. This season, you might be able to tell I'm really down on the uh, on the Chelsea playthrough this season. Uh, the Real Madrid playthrough we were really we were really starting to take shape in season two and a lot of the players were doing really well. We ended up absolutely smoking uh, Barcelona in season two. Whereas this season, it looks like the Chelsea side have taken a step back. <clears throat> Just scroll through a lot of this stuff now, see if there's anything important. I don't think so. Lewandowski has ended his international career. Marcos Alonso wants to talk about joining Real Madrid. Obviously, I was in holiday, so we didn't do that. If Real Madrid made a good bid, what would we do? Marcos Alonso, playing well. He's worth £29.5 million, so we'd have to make a pretty good bid. I don't know if I would sell him. I don't know if I would. Anyway, today we're going to get to see City host Spurs. Hopefully, a draw in that one. Keep them both from uh, creeping up on us. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Oh, all the other games are actually getting played. Arsenal with a 2 2 at Stadium of Light against Sunderland. That's good news for us. City actually beat Spurs. Man United with a 1 0 victory away over Hull. So we need to win this one to actually, oh, actually Arsenal have went above us with that point. We need to win this one to stay ahead of Arsenal <clears throat> and to make some progress in catching Man United. We've played one game against Newcastle so far and we have won that match. 
Fabregas is coming off the bench. He's absolutely not ready to be there. Mazonda. All right, let's stick with the formation. Mazonda comes in for Willian. Azpilicueta comes in for Moses. Hazard better bloody hurry up and come back from injury. <clears throat> so, the lineup for today will be Courtois, Zuma, Luis, Lindelhoff, Azpilicueta, Alonso, Matic, Kante, Asensio, Mazonda and Lewandowski. And hopefully we'll get a better result than we did last time out at Vicarage Road. It was an absolute snooze fest of a match. Uh, I'm just going to calmly tell them good luck. You know, I'm usually passionate and so uh, and stuff. Calmly tell them to get creative. I'm going to change up my instructions to them a little bit. See if that does anything for them. Got Dawson in the booking in the first minute for Newcastle. That's good news. Oh, Louise joins him in the fifth minute. That's not good news. Shelby looking injured. That's good news. 20 minutes with nothing going on. That sounds familiar and it's not good news. Another free kick. I mean... Fills are plenty, nothing going on. Another free kick to Chelsea. Diami is warned by Mike Dean. He's warning a hell of a lot of Newcastle players here. I mean, that's 12 shots now, and not one of them producing any kind of highlight worth watching. And another lecture given by the referee. Another free kick, and another warning, for God's sake! <laughs> free kick to Newcastle watch it be a booking and it is it's a booking of course uh, uh, that's funny and there's half time an absolutely riveting game here at St James's Park <sighs> let's go with the let's go with the formation I was originally going to go with we'll take out Kurt Zuma uh, no actually we will take out Louise because he's booked we'll take out Louise we'll go with We'll go with Batshuayi and Lewandowski. What does Batshuayi like? Complete forward. You know what? We'll go with two complete forwards. Mizonda, Asensio, etc. They all look fine. Marcus Alonso. I'm going to tell him to ease off his tackles. Last thing we need is him getting sent off. We'll go with this. And you know what? This time I'm going to aggressively tell him to show some passion because the bloody, the cam... The, the cam approach certainly didn't work. Hey, a highlight. Lazar for Newcastle, nicked by Matic. Muzonda now, can he get it forward? Nope, he loses it. Zuma has to head it away. Diami will pick it up for Newcastle. Easy ball forward to Iose. Takes on Kante, puts it out wide to Anita. Completely unmarked. Whips it in, got to be dealt with. Zuma away, Matic on. Diami picks it up though, not a great header. Muzonda forward, come on. Bitchwai over the top. Lewandowski not going to get there and Bemba away. Kante picks her up. Scrappy here, but we need a goal out of it either way. Lewandowski driving forward. Plays it to Kante. Good touch. Mzonda plays in Batshuayi, who scores. Lovely, lovely play from them. Mzonda with the assist. Batshuayi proving the correct decision to give him a shot instead of Werner. It's a brilliant finish. Matic looking tired just now, but you know, he was so important in heading that away. Yeah, I'm going to take him off now. He's not going to survive another half hour. We will put Chaloba in there. It certainly doesn't look like we're going to be eating into Man United's goal difference lead. That's Pelliqueta to Chaloba. Lots of room into Kante, nicked by Ben Pearson. Rodriguez forward. Mitrovic now moving into a shooting position. Plays it in behind to Christian Teo. Easy ball square. Zuma away. Iose back in. Mitrovic unmarked. Looking to shoot. Teo shoots. Oh, for fuck's sake. He just strokes it into the corner of the net. Awful defending by Alonso. Courtois didn't exactly look convincing again. 
Werner coming in for Lewandowski. He could be in his advance forward. And again, it just seems like we can't keep a clean sheet. Can't defend or keep a clean sheet, and that's not exactly a good combination. Make a couple of adjustments, but it seems like it's going to be another 1-1 for us today, falling further behind United. Pearson upends Werner. Yep, reprimanded by Mike Dean. There, it seems nothing Newcastle can do to get a card here. Free kick to Newcastle. Watch it be a booking as Billy Quaid is in the book. <laughs> Every Chelsea fills a card. Yep, yep another booking, Chaloba. That was dropped there. And, and it's a 1 1 again. Ah. <laughs> uh. It seems no matter how much we dominate games, dominate possession, dominate the shot count, we just, we can't buy a win at the minute. Well, I'm sure it's not exactly making for riveting viewing, unfortunately. If you've somehow found a way to like the episode, then please drop down below and leave a like, I'd appreciate it. Um, I'll see you next time when we're away at Leverkusen. Hopefully we can do better.